that it might be shown in the next example. Here we have the capacity between zero and ten. I can send at most ten units. So these are five here, and this is a vector of force. Three for the first property, for the first criterion or object, and five for the second one. And what I want, it's not written here, is to send ten units from point one to point four. This is good. Okay. Again, our 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 uh, uh, set of solutions is all the solutions of all the feasible solutions of this small network, 96. And this, you see, here we have the decision space, the variables associated associated with the arcs, and here we have the criterion space. And now we start by computing the optimal solution of uh, lex mean of this uh, uh, first criterion. Why lex mean? Because the minimum of the first criterion is this. But if we compute the minimum, we can obtain this one, this one, this one, or this one. And the lex mean, lexicographic mean, is this solution. If we obtain one of the others and using the, the pivot technique for moving to this one is by itself a very difficult problem. Okay? And then we compute also the optimal solution of the second type. Now we start the process. Then this one was computed is non-dominant. We just, because everything is integer, we just put an epsilon uh, a little bit lower than uh, for the second criterion. We have 144 and a little bit lower. And then if we put it as constant. Of course, in the problem, the network structure is destroyed. And now we move to another one. We put another constant and so on. And let's see for this one. This one look that this is the entering arc. And the cycle is this one because this is the leading arc. And we have a cycle. We, if we send two units around the, along the cycle, we, we will got, get the, uh, the, the second solution. So this is based on adjacency. And because it's based on adjacency, now we have to compute this non-integer solution. And this non-integer solution is just to send the right amount of non-integer non flow around this cycle. This is what we did. First optimal solution is this one, and the arc that leaves the basis of the spinning tree structure will be used. This is the most important technique to make the branch, the branches uh, part. And all the, the, the x lower than or equal to four and equal to five, and then we continue to obtain the optimal solution of. Uh, the optimal solution of um, the epsilon cost. So the, day, the optimal solution was, was done and we do the same for the It is clear for you, or less? I tried to do a lot of uh, pictures because the theory is not is not so easy. Okay, now as the term con contribution is a, a paper that I can start in '96 with Augusto. It's a very big, big uh, working paper, and now we published it for multiple objective network flows. The objective is only compute the supported solution, the integer support solution for multiple objective uh, problems. Okay, what? What we will do is uh, for each uh, maximum, we compute all maximum efficient facets of the, of the, of the linear process. Then we will rewrite the, 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 the facet as this object function. And uh, we will find uh, for this problem, uh, we will find the set of uh, non-integer or of integer 
uh, non-dominating or efficient uh, solutions, supported solutions. And we used a zero cost cycle algorithm because it's much easier than network uh, network sequence algorithm. Again, now three criteria. See, this is three criteria, and this is the decision space uh, that we represent. This is the decision space is equivalent to this one uh, because we can apply a transformation that is in the book by Papa Dimitrius. We have a lot of uh, variables that we can remove. It's equivalent. And here in the objective space, let's see. First facet in the in the in the decision space and the same representation in the objective space. And the second one, and then we have an age, this age is also non-dominated. And they lay out the set of non-dominated solutions for the linear one. But now I want, for example, for this facet, the supported solution for the integer one. Okay. If you see the facet we have uh, one one dimension uh, minus one dimension. We have three dimensions and for the facet we have two dimensions. Now this is the decision space and here we have dimension for all it. We will analyze this this part of, of uh, this facet and try to identify the integer points inside. Now, these are integer because of the property of total immobility that um, was mentioned before. Okay, this is easy. Now, let's see what happens. One solution, an extreme solution here. Another extreme, another solution. And another solution. And you will see that we will use, that it's difficult to see, all the solutions here we are building by uh, by the zero cost cycle algorithm that computes all the non-dominated multiple optimum of this function and we got to all all the people now i can explain you why the other algorithms in what they were because they consider one extreme and another extreme and they move from one extreme to another extreme, they found this and this. And the same. This and this, they found this one. And the same. But some are combinations of, uh, for example, uh, this is this and this are combinations uh, that could not be reached uh, before. Because one is an intermediate, but it's between these two, and it's not extreme, this one, this one is extreme, for example. Uh, could be a non-extreme solution and if we do the cycles and unit by unit on each cycle we can stop them all. Conclusion a few number of exact linear algorithms are correct. This is a lot of people criticizing that are in the region there is a lot of things. Uh, only three algorithms can be used for integer case by object case without destroying the structure of networks. Some approximate algorithms were developed and are of great importance for the field. There is many only three techniques, epsilon optimum, sandwich algorithms, and fox algorithms. And the interactive procedures are stars. And uh, okay, this is the algorithm we based on the to support and also um, uh, we implement the network simplex method uh, to improve it to beat this one, but you now we need to, to implement a lot of things, physical strong bases, uh, and a lot of things to avoid cycles, tailing, and so on and so forth. This can be here. NetGen was generated used and adapted for multiple objective network flows because here it was built on uh, for single network flows. And this, this book is a very good book for the theory of the network learning for the teacher one. And uh, thank you very much.